Good evening, everybody. Glad you could join us here again on uh, for on ASRNZ Twitch in 2021. We've uh, we've been here once already with the ACBTCC series just a few weeks ago, but tonight we are here to kick off the 2021 Season One GT3 season. For ASRNZ tonight, as usual, it's just a quick shakedown, just obviously for us boys up here in the comms box, not only us, but the boys out on track and obviously admins, servers need to be set up, skins need to be assigned, setups need to be sorted, there's some, a few new pairings, obviously this year... And this season, so obviously we'll go into that later in the evening. But um, yeah, look, everybody's champing at the bit to get things kicked off here. Like I said, 2021 GT3 series. This is season one. You have reached ASRNZ Twitch. We're at Snetterdon tonight. People in the UK, t twisty little track probably not the best place to you know spread the um you know <laughs> the the gt3 love around it's a fairly tight little track but mate look every everyone is so ready to get down to business um and i'm sure tonight is going to be action-packed as usual so, where are we at? We are at Snetterton. The boys are just having a quick uh, driver brief, first of the season. Um, it'll be a fairly basic driver be uh, brief, no doubt, uh, as no points tonight. Very much a practice race to make sure servers and cars and setups and the like are all functioning correctly. So as the boys go through their driver brief, um, we've seen some some reasonably good times so far. I think uh, Crossy actually topped the the um, the board with a best of one minute twenty seven point two, coming from the man who said he didn't know the track about twelve hours ago, and. Uh, <laughs> Hadn't done any practice, so well done there, Crossy. Jake McKellar not too far behind. A couple of boys, also Crane Stonely uh, in the 27s. <clears throat> Just <clears throat> waiting for us to tick over into the first qualifying session for the year in the GT3s. And User I think it's time. just about here. And as we speak, J-Man hey, has joined me in the comms box. Mate, double, How are you, double mate? Double duties tonight, mate. Double, uh, you double know, duties. I'm, I'm pretty good, mate. I feel like uh, I've just hit the phone booth and changed my shirt and uh, got the uh, match fit attire on at the minute. And um, Excellent, excellent. And, uh, where are we up to anyway, Davo? Um, obviously, we see them all shuffling up for this official um, yes, qualification. Yes, boys, just rolling out uh, onto the pit lane now for quali. The first quali of the, um, the GT3 year here. Hang on, I've just got a little screen issue, so we'll just move things around a little. But uh, yeah, Jay, man, everybody I'm sure is keen to get down to business here for the first series in the GT3s, mate. 100%. Um, as, as I just covered off in, um, in, uh, in briefing um, to the guys, you know, we... Um, this is a, this is a shakedown, so it'll be I'm sure used as a shakedown for um, uh, for for us as well as the guys out there. But it was basically you know we covered off a few things around uh, the format tonight. So I'm not sure where, what I missed out on as far as that entry entry uh, moments on the stream there, Davo. But um, obviously we've got a 12 minute 
uh, qualifying as you can see here. Uh, standard ASRNZ rules apply to these sessions in respect of, you know, they can cram in as many laps as they can before that uh, chequered flag comes out to end the session. Uh, should they require uh, more fuel or another set of tyres to have a stab at it, they do have to drive back to the pits to make that um, reality. Um, so there's no escape to pits and, and changing. They do have to drive back, so that... Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so just the usual format, I suppose, for the GT3s, uh, J-Man there. Yeah, yeah. So you've obviously got uh, eyes on the minute uh, on the very, very quick Steve Crossland, is it? Yeah, focused on uh, Pete Aspie actually at the moment. So I will okay. uh, get up Steve Cross on there now. Just coming out of the pits, obviously. Um, Sorry, okay, so that was the sister car, apologies. Yep. It was, it was. Yep, there's going to be a little bit of learnings here. We've got uh, a lot of a lot of different wall paint on these cars. We this, do, um, we do. And it's, here, Damo? Yes. I just myself also uh, we're not uh, we haven't ran away viewers we are just probably both um, clicking the buttons uh -huh. we, we are clicking buttons busily clicking buttons just trying to get a couple of little screen sizing issues out of the road I think I'm on top of it now J man yeah. as I f find uh, my voice again yes yeah, Steve Crossland I did mention Steve earlier. He he topped the leaderboard in in early practice and um, leading up to qualifying. And uh, yeah, also Stonely and I think it was Jake McKellar. Not sure on the other, but uh, yeah, top effort from from um, Crossy, who not only a few hours ago said. He didn't know the track and hadn't done any practice. So, yeah, well done. Crossy there. So, first time off is from Ashley Vettigar with a reasonable 48.8, but quickly taken by Stonely, obviously. These yeah, things so move very quickly, J-Man. Oh, they do. And, and you mentioned Stonely. Uh, as we just see, Cross, Crossy, uh, you know, like, obviously, um, you know, you were mentioning, you know, he was out there. We've got some early hitters. Um, the only one of them um, in the Castrol checks in the mail. Castrol, um, that Check, team there checks in the mail. Castrol, up with Steve yes, uh, yes, good year. signing there for Castrol. That's a great signing. It is. It um, is. So I also see Gunther Rowe just sliding up into the top small group of cars. Also, Jeff Burst. Who is pedaling pedaling a is that a Nissan? He's in yeah, one of the R thirty fives. Nice, yeah, the nice. Yep. Um, um, back down the list, I'll just quickly go through is John McDonald. Yep. Uh, Rocking Luke, the um, Mercedes. The, the splattered Mercedes sister car to Steve Wilton's Luke Crompton, Kenny Simpson, Quick, Pete Aspie, Nick Davis, Maxwell, Matt Cook. And the likes, J-Man, uh, like you're saying, a whole bunch of new teams, new livery, a lot for us to get our head around. Uh, one thing I did notice that took my notice was, oh, I'm trying to find him now, it was Kenny Simpson. Where is Simo? Is he even on track? We lose him. Uh, in a no, Ferrari this him. year, so. Yeah, he's currently sitting P7 on a 49.419. So I'll just quickly pick up on Simpson's car there. Yep. Um, so, so one thing to note that uh, obviously I just covered off with the with the drivers, uh, for those viewers listening that aren't aware, uh, the tyre allocation for 2021 ASR and ZGD3 AWC Challenge is that uh, they these guys have to manage a five set strategy plus unlimited wets should it rain. So. You know, just off camera earlier, myself and Dave, I were talking about um, you know, how do these guys work? Do they go uh, three one one? Do they go three sets in the in the practice, or do you know, and then one quality one race, or do they go uh, two one two? And, and as we see, Simo just have a 
<laughs> big, bloody, big moment uh, there. Um, big bloody moment. He um, did have a big uh, an FHM there. Yep. But, oh, he's, uh, oh, yeah, there he goes. Yeah, he had a bloody huge moment there. So, um, wow. But, um, you know, so in respect of, um, you know, how they manage it is going to be something that we're, we're going to watch and learn and try and get into the driver's um, heads and strategies a little bit. And we Absolutely. might come up with our own strategies as the season goes on. And uh, we might be incredibly <laughs> off, off the mark. Um, <laughs> well, that, driving, but... that, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, just try and stop us. We always theorise and have our own strategies up here in the comms box. J-Man. Is, um, so... I just want to just pass note that Steve Crossland, we saw this guy run a, a 47.2 in the uh, official practice, and he's backed that up. He has backed that up nicely a 47 in the Merg. battle. It'll uh, take some beating, although Stonely's only a tenth away on a 47.3. Now, Stonely's in one of the Astons. I just did sort of note that there was a hell of a lot of Mercs in the field, which, don't get me wrong, I'm a big Merc fan, but uh, it is a bit of a Merc fest. And good to see. Yeah. I love that. The cars look fantastic. But, yeah, okay, I'll have just, to update my numbers, Davo, but you, you're right. It was eight, eight Mercs, uh, around seven McLarens, four Ferraris, four Astons, uh, one Porsche, Mudgee, and yep. at the time and a, and that a couple, I took couple of these notes, there, was, there were three, three unknowns. We know that one of them's a Datsun. Yeah. Um, and obviously few things have changed since then so come come round one we'll probably have a bit more accuracy around that because uh what we do know is historically once these shakedowns are done and they go into round one and the car you turn up at round one is the car you're going to run the season with so it i is, don't expect to see a lot of change um, the, the, out of what we're seeing tonight oh, i i don't either i don't <laughs> yeah. and like you said that is that is the uh you know your car of choice you know, the paperwork's signed, mate. It's all done and dusted. And the, the boys have just got to get their, you know, their team management sorted out and, you know, get their setups and get that, you know, get that con continuity between the two cars and the dogs. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I see you got eyes on the on the 27 car of McDonald. Uh, yeah. He's currently sitting P4. Not done a lot of practice. He's currently a half a second up. Um, which would see him provisionally move to around about P3, so he'd still be on the second row at this point. Um, and yeah. I wanted to ask you, Davo, um, just while we're in this two and a half minutes to go, how, uh, you know, how serious do you think some of these guys are taking the shakedown round? Uh, <laughs> good, good question. Uh, I think some more than others obviously mm. will be. Um, we uh, we clearly have a, a big gap in the numbers too. Obviously, with oh, I don't know what you, what's the numbers. There's at least half a dozen guys away for yeah, a absolutely. weekend weekend juggernaut. We'll call it yeah, yeah, to I to believe. a motorsport event. So um, there's, there's about nine guys heading down yeah, heading down to Highland overall. And, uh, yeah, yeah. But a couple of those boys are here tonight. But um, awesome numbers to see i think some of the guys you know the 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 oh no the veterans will just be it'll be business as usual they'll just come in they'll they'll just cruise through it get the car right make sure they're pit stopping right make sure everything's working and yep. you know all the buttons are in the right place and everything's sorted right i think the other guys some of the newer guys probably look at it as an as a time you know a good time and an official practice session and race, mm. so I th and I think it, that we'll treat it accordingly, um, yeah. and go hard, you know, test themselves. So, yeah, it's, yeah. it should be a good night, it, and it usually is. It generally, generally is a shakedown. So, um, yeah, looking forward to it. I'm glad everybody could join us here again in 2020 um, for the GT3 seasons, uh, as there will be multiple. This first cab off the rank, season one. Mate, this is going to be a cracker, J-Man. Oh, I, th I think it is. I think it is, and it's it's um, <clears throat> it's great to be back in here. Um, obviously, I took a, took a break away, and um, Farmer typically did an outstanding job of, of, of filling in uh, once I left, so that's, so that's awesome, and I'm sure you enjoyed your time. 
uh, with Mr. Wilton. So oh, Palmer yes. was, um, yeah, and I mean, he, he'll be relishing being out in the driver's seat as well. I know he loves the stuff, but I know he loves having the steer as he well. He does, he does. He gets a bit agitated in the seat up in the comments box. You know he wants to be down in the, in the car. As we got five seconds to go, Pete. Doesn't look like it's going to change too much. I'll just focus back quickly on Crossy's on car. Jeez, oh, look at that. He he knew he had that, eh? Yeah, and, that. Uh, and I can tell you, Stoney's given it away. Um, He's had enough at a 47.3. McDonald um, hasn't given it away and was three tenths up. He's three tenths down at the minute. I'd like to just press on with the lap with, with John McDonald if we could. The car's looking nice, actually. It's, um, uh, for the little practice these guys have done, that car actually looks quite uh, composed for such a, a hot lap at the moment. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's having a dip. He's just run wide there. I think you're going to see the Delta scream the wrong way there. But, uh, yeah, as we do, he's about a second and a quarter down. So he won't make much of this because I don't suspect that those numbers he'd be able to pull that back. A little uh, bit off the pace there. Movers but... and shakers, great to see Cameron May back. Um, oh, for sure. Uh, and actually rocking the Porsche. So that was the second Porsche in the field. Yep. As he just moves up inside the 10, so just, just outstanding result in. from Cameron. Yeah, nice work, nice work. And I love an understated Porsche. A black and white Porsche with a couple of stickers is right up my alley. Go, Cameron May. I'm a fan. 100%. Um, yeah, uh, Lukey just rounded out the top 10 there, actually. Now, he's driving one of the McLarens, I think, uh, this season, uh, J Man. So yeah, obviously yeah. there's the mandatory car change. It's a bit of an unwritten rule. Oh, well, they they've scrubbed it. Yeah, so here we go. They've scrubbed it based on the fact that the the BOP in itself has kind of mitigated They're doing it anyway. Any sort of advantage you, that. As, as that, what we're talking about is the boys weren't allowed to drive the same car they drove the season before, just in case you know one particular car had had some advantage somewhere down the line. Um, yeah, we've scrapped it now. Obviously, like Jayman's just saying, because the BOP in the game is so good and um, is taking yeah. care of it. But uh, yeah, good to see a few boys just getting out of their comfort zone there as the session just quickly clicks over into yeah so it's uh, we're about to do a, a session start so i can't remember what happens here Dave. do we have to touch anything to oh, i'm hoping not because <laughs> if i do uh yeah, I don't, I don't we'll, we'll we be do, in mate. we'll be in deep trouble but yeah. um what we're gonna do is just shoot up to you have the to click on, you have to click on the screen and well, and click drive again. Oh, uh, we might have do. to. I think actually. I think I think do that. Uh, you haven't effectively left the server, so I think uh, as long as you do that and, and a quick. Uh, so I'll, we'll just I'll, see I'll if tab I could... to, to get back to your controls, and you should be good. And hopefully you're uh, speedy with the camera changes. That's the goal. Here we are, people. It's five seconds to count. Shakedown, 2021. Yeah, big formation lap. So full formation lap. Uh, UI controlled, uh, so the, basically yes. the game will give them an indication about where they should be. And massive congratulations to Crossy on that pole position, I might add. Uh, How was the fun. time, J-Man? Like, I, we, well, we were watching earlier, oh, pretty well for the last hour and a half in practice, and and he was toying with it, and we knew that he was going to be quick, but, mate, nearly got into the sixes there, eh? Right? That, that is outstanding. He's... Uh, all G'd up and got the car out the front well and truly. <laughs> yep, so a nice helicam shot there, uh, Davo. It's, uh, it's good work from the boys up in the helicopter today. So, got the full of array, uh, array of cameras here. Um, I think possibly, um, I don't know, maybe the 17 car uh, might be a great reference point off the start. I'm not sure. It is a rolling start, so it'll be interesting to see uh, where you go. But, um, um, some big, big names uh, up there, and oh, is that a late entry there of Aztec? Oh, nice work, nice work. He, he, he looks like he's in server. Is he on track? 
not sure. Hang on. I'll oh, there you go. I've got a blue. Yes, he is. Yeah, I've got a blue car. Is he playing a bit of catch up? He's got the pack. He, he has got the pack. Well he done. He has got the pack. So that, that, that is the last second sort of stuff. You don't want to get any later oh. than that. Yeah. Um, and a big welcome to our viewers. I see we have got currently five viewers on. Uh, so. Uh, shout out to you guys. Welcome Great aboard, to have people. You join us live. I believe a couple of them could be uh, uh, Aaron, uh, Aaron Enright, and uh, Steve O'Melling. So great to see you guys. I think Flick, Nick McIndoe um, could be there. Hope you enjoy the stream tonight, guys. We'll do our level best, and I'm sure the boys out on track will put on a good show for you, and you guys enjoy yourself down in Queenstown. Uh, Dave, where are you going to put the cameras up? Where are you going to focus? Sure. Uh, probably a couple of rows back, two or three rows back um, from the helicam. Right. And then we'll just try and keep up with it, I think, brother. So these guys will be asked to go in a staggered formation uh, with a, a quarter or so to go. Um, and then they will basically be held at, I think, I'm going to say it's maybe somewhere around the 80 kilometre an hour mark. We'll have a look at that. See what that says. Okay, so I can tell you that they are hovering around the. I think it's going to be. So they're at 49k an hour. So Cross is backing the field up right now. Yeah, it's looking good. It's, they've got a really nice bunch there. Most of the top three rows are good. Boys up the back are just trying to sort themselves out now. From May back is still a little untidy. Yep. Just okay, so looking like uh, I think it's looking pretty tidy up the front here, J Man. Yeah, it is looking pretty tidy. This still stone the overlap ever so slightly. You have to be careful with that because he. So just penalty. here we go. Here we go, people. Shakedown 2021 GT3 season at ASR and Z. Thanks for joining us on Twitch tonight. Let's go racing. Crossy with a massive start. Leaping. That has a great jump on them. Only suffered badly there with a really poor pickup on the throttle. Just dropped so that back. was beneficial for John McDonald uh, getting the jump there and making a place off the start. As we see one car peeling off through the field. I'm not sure who that, who that was. It was potentially. Uh, the other pink Mercedes. Sorry, we haven't picked that up, but uh, it yes. might have been Pete Apsy actually. Yeah, I think it was Pete Apsy. You're right. So we got um, so it will take a lap for our leaderboard to normalise, guys. As usual, yeah, it, it just helps with our uh, camera positioning as well. Please, Steve Crossland out in front. John McDonald's actually found himself up uh, there nicely in front of Stanley. Stanley had a really bad start. Uh, definitely bogged the Nissan down and had trouble getting it off the line and um, pretty well just sat still. Ashley Bettigas just really just slipped into position nice with Matt Cook. Uh, a little bit of pressure from Gunther Rowe, but those two guys have made a great start to the uh, to the race as well. McCullough behind Jeff Burse. One of the R35s doing well. Cameron May in the white understated port. This bunch of cars in behind here. Yeah, Kenny Simpson, uh, Maxwell Hawkins. Dick Davison in front, just pressuring Troy Wilson there. He is. J, uh, is. J Man. That uh, little pack of cars in behind them. Mercedes is angry. Get back to Kenny Simpson's car and even further back to Maxwell's car as we see Steve Wilton, aka Wait, Farmer, a go. Oh, has a big go. Yeah, who was that? And that's, that's a, Max Hawkins. And that's Farmer. Max Hawkins, and that is Aztec, the latecomer, as the flames spit from the back of Hawkins. McLaren. Wilton wanted a bit of Aztecs up there, the latecomer. Yeah. We're he's, straight into it. We're straight into it, Jay, man. He is moving up the field. There's a lot of feeling here already. Uh, some paint exchanged already by Maxwell Hawkins and uh, 
in Farmer. And so Farmer, um, yeah. Although you wouldn't notice it on Farmer's car, to be honest, you know. No, you certainly <laughs> would, it wouldn't go astray. He could do with a little bit of anything on there and, and get away with it. So great to see the young rookie uh, not phased by one of our seasoned drivers as we just see Esti looking to keep moving forward and also Pete Apsey looking to make amends for whatever that uh, issue he had at the start of the race as we just watched Farmer just struggling for a little bit of fun tend as well Davo uh, but yep. uh, you've, you've got eyes on Stoney who oh, has sorry, got I past just, JB I just had a bit of a swap around hunt down, uh, that's right he did get crossing. past JB and I was trying to just pick that up in the, in the instant replay but a little too late but uh, yeah Stonely clearly has the eyes on the prize. Yeah, he's got a bit of pace. He does have the pace. Like we said earlier, really good signing for Castrol. And uh, he, he wants to chase Crossy down. I just see it in the body language of the car. He's, that is, it, that is a, <laughs> definitely a carrot for Stonely at the moment, and he's, he's heading towards it. So, Well, the pace is hot. The track's obviously in a really, really good condition for the, uh, for the shakedown race. Uh, because I can tell you that already uh, Crossy and Stone are, are already in the 47 bracket. Crossy very nearly breaking into the sixes. Wow, um, that's amazing. He's doing his, uh, his, his pole time already, yeah. basically. So, yeah. um, and and, and it's already impressive. Up, on the, up on the sectors. So, um, yeah. Uh, be interesting to see, you know, there's a lot of learnings going on for all these guys, including yourself. Davo and myself, in respect of its 70 minute race, it does have a mandatory pit stop. Uh, it is time fuel scaled, so they will take whether it's one litre or 100 litres, it's going to cost them 25 seconds. The only variation in these pit stops will be A, when they take them, and B, yes. uh, whether they just choose to take a tyre. So, yep, yep. I came up with a uh, I guess a com strategy earlier on, and I'm going to disclose it, um, Dave. I've already <laughs> said to you, so. Please do, please do. As we just, just, just quietly, we just watch. Oh, farmer, come into hey, contact. I think we've got Aztec. a replay on that. I, uh, I missed it. Have you got a replay on that? Oh, farmer wide. As you put a little bit of pressure on, it gets oh. wide. Ooh, that was a heart heavy hit. Right. Uh, yeah. Immediate readdress there for Farmer, I noticed too, but uh, unfortunate. Oh, yes, it's... that was massive, all right. <laughs> um, damn, it's, uh, yeah, that's an early way to shake things out. Um, Absolutely. Uh, so, okay, so strategy wise, for me, you know, we started this race at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Current conditions are good. Uh, they, they plan on looking like they're going to stay clear by the looks of things, weather forecast wise. Um, but as the day progresses, this is time scale time three. I would say there's a 50 minute window on the pit strategy, uh, on the pit window. So I, I would come in with maybe 15 minutes to go to grab my mandatory fuel stop. But I'm saying I would also grab a fresh tyre and I would increase my pressures for the final stint of the race because this track is going to get cold. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see where you're going. Yeah, because yeah. that. It'll keep that tyre a little bit cooler and the pressure's just nice. Yeah, and he who can have that tyre working correctly at the back end of this race when the temperature's back off may benefit. And he, yeah. he may cancel out that five seconds extra that he loses. Yeah, well, tyre. that's but, it. Hey, that's, that's a call from up here that I'm saying that's uh, maybe a strategy. So I'd be yeah. interested to see if anybody does this. Well, that's that's true, true, true. Um, but the game's ever so slight, uh, you know, that the sort of levels uh, that these guys are required to go to to actually get them, because uh, the, the competition on track is fierce, and quite often the gains that they're getting, are they're in their print strategies and, and, and tyre attempts and strategies, so uh, absolutely critical and worth worthy of the mention. Yeah, good to see Nick Davidson uh back Davo and um, that little pack's a healthy pack from Troy Wilson um, Cameron May, Nick Davidson um, Kenny Simpson and Maxwell Hawkins on the back of that uh, little ballet there of cars so um, beautiful pictures coming uh, from the broadcast PC as well I might add that nice and nice and crisp um, yeah we're getting a relatively 
uh, sharp image this year, which is awesome to see, and uh, pretty uh, relatively smooth through Twitch yeah. at the moment as well. So yeah, good stuff. J Man always looking to improve as always. Gunther Rowe is found himself in a little bit of a pack, which is just in front of the guys we were just focusing on there. Yep. Um, he's, he has got himself in a little bit of a sandwich there between McKellar and John McDonald, both. Yes, something must have happened to JB here, Davo, because he was in P3. He was in, past he was in P2, actually, earlier in the race, in the first couple of laps. So, so I'm not sure what happened there, but he's succumbed to Ashley, Matt, um, well, as that, well. Just, actually, just have a look at John McDonald's car. I'll we'll get back on it. Have, what, have a look at the bottom on this car. This thing's been into the wall. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's suffering oh, yeah, look at that. one as well. Look at that, he just got smashed by... Uh, yeah, that bollens up. That is not a healthy looking move. Face coming down that big straight. And like he will be deep. getting all sorts of temperature from the yep. boys behind him. Gunther well, is the first cab off the rank, <laughs> pressure-wise. And you can see that car suffering in the front end. Uh, J-Man. Oh, big wiggle there from Gunther too, though, and Jake McKellar oh, waiting. Oh, McKellar was waiting with uh, yes. with the mouth open, ready to take that bite. And look, we see the, the R35 just cut, sneaking up on the back. And now that's of, Jethro. Yeah, and he's got some board oh, he's on got the straight it. line. He has got him. He will have him in for turn one. Oh, shit, I've lost No him. question about that, and he's lining up his very good friend. JB as well. Oi! And then we just see Cameron May get a little bit up tight. Oh yeah, we've got uh, Carnage actually there back there, J Man. 30 second can get, replay. Can we, get a, can we get a replay on that? Yeah. Yeah, so just watch these boys come in. We'll get it, see if we can get a cam on this. We just spun back. Okay. A couple okay, brackets. so we, as we just hear the pit window open. Here we go, here we go. There's a, what happened here? Oh, the unassuming Porsche, just a little <coughs> bit of inside edge on the, the as the boys <laughs> just very politely get their oh, shit back so together. The lines just coincided. Tough stuff uh, came there, just not best spatial awareness with the big hips on the Porsche. Yeah, uh, back down to business. I think we're going to go back to Jeff Burst though, because that's was where we were looking actually, as that happened just in the background, wasn't it, J Man? And, yeah, um, so, so so he's got McKellar and um, he's got and, McKellar uh, all over his business at the moment, hasn't he? Yep. So what's the gap? What are we looking at a gap? Uh, we've got a, you know, a couple of seconds up the road, two and a half, three seconds up the road. Yeah, he's got too... a little bit in front of him, but uh, it's the McKellar Troy Wilson battle. And actually, I just noticed Wilson. Great showing from Troy. Great. Boy looking really comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And I think actually Troy just leaning on the back of, as I just noticed, McDonald going into the pits there. Do you want to just watch McDonald there just quickly? Yeah, I'll yep. um, Yeah, just Wilson, I think, just found himself in the right place at the right time and got up behind McKellar, which is actually just let um, Jeff Burst breathe a little bit, I think. So... Just flick back to where are you back down here with John? Oh, let's have a look. How's that stop looking? He will be doing plenty of damage on that car. That was not a pretty looking vehicle when it came into the pits. Just I can to... tell you now he's doing more than just fuel. Oh, because <laughs> I can tell you now he is. Definitely doing more than uh, just that fuel. car is in the pits for a long time, so yeah. Uh, so there'd be uh, some mechanicing going on there. It's still going uh, on. They're still wrenching on that car. Yep. Now let's have a quick look at this. This is Jake McKellar. He has dispatched Troy Wilson from here, the back of the Ferrari, and is latched back onto the back of Jeff Burse's car. J Man. Let's just watch these two boys go at it. That's a, that's a pretty big gap for, um, you know, like Jeff was up the road. And, and he, he was. Yeah, Troy on him. So I don't know whether 
Uh, some, something happened to, to Jeff and then something happened to Troy because it's just a big gap to make really quickly. Having said that, man, he is all over Jeffrey through that high speed <coughs> uh, right hand. That there. little kick there, yeah, that's right. And, uh, you know, that's where, you know, quite often these, these mid rear cars like the Ferrari do do get their gains, you know, they're, they're you know, mid to high speed, corner speeds are very quick and as he uh, gets right up the side burst there. Yeah, he's looking, looking comfortable. And he wants a chunk of that Nissan. Oh, and he just goes, he goes in. He, he, he's, he's got him. Get him. See what the horsepower's like. Oh, here we go, here we go. Give it up. It's a drag race. <laughs> we right to the next left hander. So uh, this is gonna go on a little bit further. So maybe a little bit of argy bargy coming up, yeah. so, but uh, it's looking good. It's looking good for a bit of action. Yeah, hundred percent. Uh, it's allowing Troy to latch back onto this battle too, a little bit. Um, I'm just wondering whether, you know, Troy had suffered. Oh, here, it's, we just watched. Uh, I think that was Bursa wide again in the yeah, Nissan. He's... That's some struggling for front end grip, I think, eh? Yeah, I did see that, so. <laughs> you did see that? Yeah. You think they might be making a little bit of ground up on uh, Gunther, though? Because I think they are progressing forward. Yeah, well, uh, the, the, apart from just a couple of little, little shots up the side there, um, Michele really hasn't put a you know, like a pass on, on Jeff, and Jeff's just gonna keep his head down, isn't he? He's just, wanting, he's just gonna outrace the Ferrari, you know, so. Um, yes, um, maybe it's just McKellar keeping up and every now and then, the Datsun's just not quite quick enough as he wasn't there. And we see the J-Man. Well, i tell you what, it's a great start to the season, Jake McKellar, you see that, they obviously turned up this year with a good budget because they have yeah. got merch, Davo. <laughs> I see that. I see that on the social. Straight, yeah. on, straight out of the yeah. box with the merch. No mucking around. So Jakey and, and Ryan have definitely um, been working hard in the off-season and, and dotted all their I's and crossed their T's. And yeah. Basically, mate, they're, uh, they're looking like a well-drilled... Uh, so where is oh, this mate. team right now? Yeah. He's in, currently in P14. Yeah, so like, like a few of the boys, just just taking it as as it is, as a test run and a shakedown, and um, just relaxing out the back, making sure all the buttons are working and the car's doing what it's meant to do. Pit stops work. I just noticed there, Steve Wilton's uh, sister car to John McDonald has a very similar aerodynamic setup on the on the yeah. front end. They've I've, gone they, for the flappy bottom. They've got, they have gone for the flappy. Like most of these guys go for the paddle, but <laughs> these guys are going for the bonnet, clearly. Yep. Nice work. That must, I mean, we, 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 we a mentioned a few thing? times about upping your game, but you don't need to up your bonnet. Um, is that just a... Is that a it's surely there's a parody thing there. Is that an advantage? <laughs> definitely. I it's doubt a, it's it. Assisting, <laughs> it's assisting engine cooling, for sure. Um, if nothing else. I just else. wanted to <laughs> mention um, up the front, it, it's not said and done, um, albeit there's a 5.1 second margin. It, Frosty's building a nice buffer here. You know, there, there'll be still a lot to play for. As uh, I can tell you now, we have lost uh, a couple of degrees, or sorry, one degree of of ambient heat. yeah the, tra the track has gone up so the track's in a good space it's interesting can... isn't it yeah that the ambience come down the track's gone up but you know quite often with this sort of thing it's like that um yeah fastest man on track last lap was still crossy um yep no no surprise there j man no followed by uh followed by stonely so those two guys in a little bit of a different postcode but i can tell you that jake mckellar sitting in this position currently is the third fastest out on track the last lap and consistently um they you know i would be probably expecting inside the next 10 minutes that he'll catch gunther they got ashley's a fair way up the road uh this is the sister car to aztec yes uh who is making his way back up the field again he is back into p13 uh as aztec but uh yeah the 
Michaela Carr, I think, is the one that is going to make it to make, forward before make the, the gains. Yeah. Uh, so John McDonald, who currently, uh, sorry, and Cameron May. Uh, Cameron May is the first of the official pit stoppers to have completed his mandatory stop, followed by John McDonald. Uh, first retiree for the shakedown in 2021 season is Mudgy. So hopefully, if Mudgy, if you can't, uh, if whatever happens to happen, hopefully it wasn't too bad and you just decided to watch the stream because it was probably going better <laughs> than your night. Um, and, so, uh, and hope you're enjoying it, mate. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, okay, so... So just to roaming around a little bit, just seeing what the boys are doing, how they're settling in. Pete Aspie in uh, the uh, Crossland sister car, which is the fast and the dubious, I think, team. Uh, we will have to get our heads around some of these names. But uh, fast and dubious, Pete Aspie, Steve <laughs> Crossland in the Mercs. Uh, perfect title for these two boys we just see just quickly just in front of them there Jeff Burst just, just, now, just be aware now that the Keller car has caught the, the row car <laughs> so Burst on the back of Burst there that is um, that cookie the cookie monster he, cookie monster is looking like he's going to do the job oh as we see Burst Unfortunately, Cookie come across in front of Bird. It's unfortunate. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I'd probably if I was, yeah. So Jeffrey's decided to press on. I don't think he feels. No, I don't think he feels obliged to. Uh, no. From this end of the camera, I nice would not either. From our cam guys. So the camera crew guys are really awake tonight. Um, yeah, so, uh, keep just, an eye on a few of these gaps here, uh, yeah, so J-Man. So McKellen, um, Rowe is definitely on the march. That's that's happening right now. Yeah, so I'm just watching. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, the, oh, Wilson the, the, the Wilson Apsi battle going on here now. Uh, Wilson yeah, looking agitated in the in the Aston. Clearly looks quicker, but a little agitated. <laughs> Pete's just trying to ride it out here. Just keep the head yeah. down, Peter. Yeah, he's sort of taken off a little bit. Doesn't want too much part of that, I don't think. No, I don't so, think he uh, does either. How did Cookie recover from that? Still in 11. So it hurt, but it didn't hurt as much as it possibly could have. So I think we need to pop back up to that Gunther Road, Jake McKellar. Um, <coughs> little battle going on well, and beautiful like, run there and mate you called it let's just get out of the back of Gunther's car here just quickly just have a look at the sort of pressure that he is getting from McKellar McKellar not mucking around although a couple of wheels in the grass here and there is not doing his um his his forward motion any any good so he's just Oh, oh he can hold a really tight line there. Can't he there? Yeah. yeah. I'm just noticing just one thing from, uh, I guess, first time back in the box for a while after after driving the um, the BDCCs, they know that these cars seem to be very sensitive to drive traction and obviously running a lot of um, electronic aids here, you know, in respect of um, traction control and ABS. Uh, how these guys get the power down... Um, can be quite significantly different as we see there's a big lose oh, there big oh, lose. he kicks it off the wall but does give the position away to jake mckellar uh jake will think that that was probably a hide by pressure but a little bit easily earned so uh unlucky to to mr gunther wrote yeah unfortunately uh, for gunther there just just, just got a little one position just look like he just got a little bit too much throttle on that and and maybe a little ripple strip and it just got the back tyres turning on him and uh, okay yeah. do you want to just cast your eyes back to Nick Davidson and Troy Wilson so albeit uh, Troy was hassling uh, Pete Atsy he has got the green Mercedes of uh, Nick Davidson breathing down his Aston Martin's bum so as he just shows him the noses they dip he into did, the right did. hander into turn one 
Just to let him know he was there. Um, great to see, great to see Kenny Simpson uh, rounding out the ten at the moment. Uh, Kenny came off a brilliant uh, British Touring Car Championship uh, series, managed to podium uh, the Pommy Holden in that series. So he Kenny, did. He did Kenny well. carrying over Kenny. a bit of form. Yeah, and a bit of confidence, you know, like it's it all adds up, mate, eh? You know, you just get that taste and um, you can you can take it on board and take it on into the into the next series, uh, no matter what you're driving really sometimes. So yeah, well done from, from Simpson. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely is a it's a beautiful um, shot that you're running there over the right hand shoulder of Nick Davidson. So good to see Nick back. Obviously, we didn't see Nick in the British Touring Car, so he took a moment to, uh, I think, uh, restructure job title wise and just reset before he was about to embark on this GT3 series. So great to see Nick back. Um, actually, a lot of the guys, um, as they concluded, and, and um, yeah, just Cam May and yeah, Hooky just and, as we just he, pick up on Cam, it, actually, yeah. I'm just sort of just chasing <clears throat> yep. some fast split times there, and May is one of them uh, up on his his PB at least at the moment in the Porsche after having a little coming together with I think that same green uh, Mercedes we were just looking at, um, but uh, yeah, one of only two I think Porsche pedalling drivers in the series, so. Yeah. Hey, look, in the first nice of our stoppers, and first of it. our stoppers as well, Damo, yeah. so currently sitting P15, um, you know, he stands to make some positions. Um, and, and I just noticed that that's actually Steve Crossland's uh, Mercedes that's coming up, ranging up on the back of May uh, as well. May stopped, now Cross, Crossland hasn't stopped yet, so... Mm. Um, you know, just it just shows you that time difference. You know, like you know, mid packer yeah. may, you know, with a stop Robinson. has has will nearly put you back in the clutches of the lead car. You know, so uh, given the uh, the competition here at ASN and uh, Z, as usual, mate. You know, you know when the yeah. top boys are performing, it's quick <laughs> and it's tough. Yep, so that, that gap's still building. Uh, you know, we alluded to a 5.1 second margin the yep. last time we spoke about it. Now it's 8.1, so gap's still building. Track's still at the 18 degree mark, but as we approach... Uh, oh, who's four that? Uh, Brendan Rolf. The Rolf, B-Dog. Yeah, out there in the, yep. out in the dirty stuff, so unfortunately for B-Dog. But uh, as I alluded, so the track was quite optimum. Uh, what we can see at 4 o'clock in the afternoon now with... 44 minutes to go in this race uh, 34 minutes of actually operating pit window time is that the track temperature has actually dropped a degree so yeah. expect inside the next 20 minutes to see another couple of degrees maybe fall out of that uh, so that'll well, come into you know, that how all, good is this time that's right that's, it all just starts to come into play doesn't it like you were talk, touching on earlier J-Man with you know that you know, the amount of tyres you have, the pressures, oh. and... Uh, Epsi, Epsi, Wilson, Burst, Davidson, Simpson. Get the cameras over there, Davo. They are at a They are ship. at it. They are at it. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real estate auction, and everyone wants a piece. Oh, Epsi just missing the back of Burst. We'll compromise, and Wilson will get the run out of the corner. Davidson's looking to capitalise as well, shows the nose and all the while Kenny Simpson just sitting off the back of that pack just waiting for any one of these guys to get it wrong Big under brakes too Wow Where to look Davo Kenny right on the back of Nick Davidson now, maybe a on board three off the back of Davidson to Kenny, could be the target car at the minute Wow. So this is for 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. Yeah, no mucking around in the uh, the mid to uh, high end of the pack there. James, it's all happening. 
and uh, yeah, no love lost. These guys, when they tighten up, they like really bunch up. They don't muck around. And I'm looking for a gain anyway. See Burst slip into the pits. We also see Kenny Simpson just okay. roll in just behind him as well. Yes, I'll keep my eyes on those guys. See what's happening there, uh, Levo. So both of them pulling nicely up on the mark, no reversing, nothing untoward going on there. Uh, Kenny off the jacks, very, very early by the look of that, or some sort of reset on the jacks. I'm and how sure. much so, fuel should he, how long should he be on the jack? Uh, 25 seconds if he's taking fuel only. Yeah. It's, uh, it just looked like a car that a reset, so I'm not sure whether he didn't quite hit his mark. It's, uh, waiting sure. for Jeffrey to pick up the throttle now. So, Waiting, waiting, waiting. Jeffro's car's just to come off the jacks and he's away. He's gone. What's the story with Kenny Simpson? Kenny's a bit delayed behind him. Definite, definite gains to uh, Jeff Burst there over that battle. As he comes out in front of Steve Crossland, uh, and I believe he and probably just... will be showing some blue flags here. Yeah, and as he uh, is, Kenny the now... are waving the flags as we speak. And Kenny only just rolls out in front of Craig Stonely. As actually, Kenny just <laughs> chooses to roll off the circuit and allow Stoney to go past. Yep, so we just watching. Slip back to that Troy Wilson, Nick Davison battle there. Jeffro, I can tell you now, Jeffro just lifted the throttle in the R35 to let Steve Crossan go through. Yeah, as you'd expect uh, from Burst, uh, you know, look, Really an avid performer. Very, very hungry driver too. Always likes to race hard. But, mate, he's a backmarker. He's got to yield to that blue flag and let Crossland pass. Crossland's still got a pit. He knows that. As we just yep. see, I think that was... Um, oh, shit. Who's that Wilson just rolling? It's Wilson, isn't it? Yep. So, Wilson on the jacks just quickly. be interesting to see where he comes out. Yeah, so the camera may still the first of the stoppers, so I'll be interested to see here where he comes out in respect of Troy Wilson. The cam long, may is just long time on the coming jack around there. the back. Oh, who's that? Somebody else just come in? Oh, did Troy Wilson just back up? No, no he's away. Wilson's away. The camera may, this is going to be really, really close with Troy Wilson camera may does get him in the pit, so that's a definitely undercut. Okay, but what about Burst? May. There goes Burst. Burst has him. Burst got him as well. Yeah. And who's the next one in line? Kenny Simpson will not get him. No, well, Simpson did actually leave the track momentarily after exiting the pit, so tough on there for Ken. Just pop, I might just pop back up to, to uh, Crossy. Although the pit window is still open for another half an hour. Let's just, um, let's just see whether we can see what, uh, whether he decides to, to come in. And that is another degree of temp out of the, that track temp now. So that is starting mm, to fall yeah, yeah. At, at 23 minutes past four. Nick Davidson in the lane, Matt Cook in the lane. So Cook in the McLaren and uh, Davidson in the green Mercedes. Both cars looking relatively tidy. Uh, they don't look like either of them, although we know that the green car has had a bit of a nick from one of the Porsches, but um, yep. still look pretty tidy body-wise, so you wouldn't expect their pit stops to be too delayed. Who else is in there with them? Is that Aztec? Aztec is in there with them as well. Aztec is in there, so it's Cook, Davison, and Aztec. Aztec, the late coming to come in there. That car has been into the wall, and you would expect to see that car in there for yeah, some so, so, Wilton so May Burst Co have just absolutely done those guys. Yeah. Uh, As you'd expect. Troy Wilson. Troy Wilson rounding up the Davidson car. And the 
Layers. And the back cook car as well. Bit of shaking out there. So Cameron May, as we alluded to, the first of the stop, or sorry, the yep. second of the stop, is him and John McDonald stopped early. Um, yep. He's done a massive undercut um, there of, of a number of guys. So something to take out of that from Cameron May. Yeah, because uh, there's still a, a job. there's still a whole pack of cars in front of him that have not stopped at all, and he is in front of nearly everybody that has. So uh, yeah, look, I don't think uh, Gul Branson, Gul Branson, and Luke Compton, uh, and Pete Epsey, I don't believe are safe from Cameron May at this point. I, I think don't May think so either. Matty Cook just uh, allows Craig Stonely to slide the Aston up the inside there and carry on with his race. Uh, Stonely having a cracking night um, really has ha hit the ground running. I think J-Man with, uh, with yeah, the hey, new Castrol what? team is signing, mate. No one with any answers. Oh, what's we got there uh, with the Davidson? Was... Uh, see something there. Was it Davidson, was it? Yeah, I saw that. Nick Davidson and, uh, and, and Wilson, Wilson again. Yeah, so these guys have been you just get joined, play on that? joined at the freaking hit for the last, uh, for pretty well the whole race, actually. They've been very close. What happened there? We just see Davidson coming down in deep. In, now, like I said, both these cars look relatively unscathed. Oh, it's Dave. Oh! It's Wilson right. that runs wide with a bump Okay, so on he the just end. ran out off yeah, of the air. And... He just ran up on the inside ripple strip, get a bit of a bounce on the old Aston. And Nick capitalised uh, on, uh, on Nick's capitalised easily. Now, Nick also has Stonely. Breathing down his I neck. think, slipping up behind him. Oh, a lot of respect for all these guys as they just will let him slip past there. I just see another back end of the car off circuit there. Didn't quite pick up who that was, but uh, anywho, Stonely maintaining his second position. Guys, yeah, mate, what a what a great little battle going on here. Okay, so we've got some big hitters in. We've got Ashley. Uh, we've got Ash with the, uh, Luke Compton. Luke Compton in also. So there's a whole row Ash of them. Way out. So this is so. the one that I was interested to see. He should be well clear. But for me, it'll be the it'll be the Gunther Crompton car. Are they safe from Cameron Mate? So look, Ashley was, really just who, drives out into a onto a clean track. We've lost out to Jeff Burst. Jeff Burst still in ninth. So Gunther Rowe just leaving the pit lane now. That is what has happened? Oh, have we have we had a disconnection for Cameron May? Because I've got nothing. We have. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, so Gunther Rowe. That's, shame. that's a shame because that's who we were looking for. As we just watched those boys leave the pit. Like deja vu. This happened to this ah, guy. Ah, mate. A, we, a year or so ago. As we just um, watched Compton come out of the pits there, just trying to duck in front of Kenny Simpson. Ooh, <laughs> that was very, very close. <laughs> Great man. camera work, Dave. Oh. Yeah, go Team Castro. Yeah, I think we've called it there, Steve-O. I think that was a disco for Cameron May. He really needs to get that sorted because uh, we were watching him over the course of tonight and, man, he was, he was from what we could tell, unless we thought it wrong, he was moving forward. He was, he was. And it, that's why we were watching those last few guys coming out of the pits because that was going to be the key to see whether he was actually moving forward as, as much as we thought he would be. And he just literally disappeared off screen. We're on Stanley so at the moment. Now, Stanley, Stanley, it's Crossy stopped. So Stanley hasn't stopped yet. So he's the one we really need to watch. I need to take a quick refreshment break. So I'm yep. just going to leave you on Stanley there. Uh, okay, Jamin, mate. I'll be back at two ticks. Okay, so as uh, Dave alluded, we have got the cams running on Stanley. Uh, who is yet to make his stop? He was some 12 or 13 seconds behind right across. He making the stop. So... 
It'll be interested to see. Oh, as Vidal runs wide in front of him. Hopefully that doesn't hinder his run too much, and it doesn't. Maybe slightly upset the entry line to that apex, but um, doing a great job. He has got Nick Davidson uh, behind him, but technically is a lap down, so he'll get that back once Stoney stops. As we watch him come through the uh, final corner, and he does duck into pit, so Stoney in the lane. Oh, looked like he was very, very close to tagging the wall there. Um, so hopefully he got that thing down to speed in time. Uh, and we watch him come up on the marks. Uh, I just want to just... Yeah, very, very good on the marks. Uh, probably watch the timer there. But still just over 31 minutes of this race to go. Still 21 minutes of actually it stop time available. I guess, yeah, Crossy coming out of the final corner now. Stoner still on the jacks. Um, yeah, he's a big gain. As we just see him go past, Stoner still on the jacks. As he gets released now, <clears throat> I'm thinking that that margin has actually increased exponentially, so I'm not sure whether Stoner decided to take a set of tyres. Pressure them up. We are down to 17 degrees ambient with a track of 22, so the temperature is dropping as I predicted, Davo. So, so it's just, it's it perfect, off. mate. And Stoner, again, just drives out into clear track. Obviously, Crossland still out in front, but um, no threat after a little a few ups and downs. Yep. Back. Um, are, we, are we able to catch this man on a straight and, uh, and and ask him if he's grabbed a tyre. Who's that? Where? Stoner. Yeah, yeah, you go. Your call. User was uh, to copy your there, channel. Stoner. I don't want to interrupt your rhythm here, mate. We've just seen you uh, release out of the lane, so if you've got an opportunity to press a button and talk to us at any point, mate. Hey, look, we were just wondering. Great opening stanza for you and Crossy, clearly in a different postcode, but uh, the comms <laughs> are sitting here wondering, did you take a tyre then? Uh, yeah, I think I did. And uh, did you by chance pressure it up a little bit with these dropping temperatures? Oh, I sure did. Wow, it's Just the right call. side. It's okay. a bit of a rush in the pits, but yeah, I tried. Okay, mate. Uh, well, yeah, look, nice hey, look, work. Confirmed, them confirmed our suspicions. <laughs> yes. Nice work, Craig. Yeah. Hey, look, there's a bit of time to make. Hopefully it's the right call, mate. And um, all the best for the rest of this race. And uh, looking very much like we'll be talking to you at the end of it, mate. Oh, cheers, boys. Right, mate. See you, User was moved out of your well, channel. there you go. So, Stoner's taking the comm strategy. Um, <laughs> um, I think it's just it's just a strategy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, you know, like, you know, there is a free bloody roast chicken, you know, up for grabs, you know, for everybody who takes the, uh, yeah. the, the comm the strategy. You know, there's a meat tray involved here, gentlemen. Yeah. You know, yeah. everyone loves a bloody meat tray. Well, who doesn't love a bloody meat tray? <laughs> Evo, come on. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay, let's edge. let's pop back down the field here a little bit. Craig Stoney, okay. as we were just discussing, quick so pit just stop. Remember, 16.6 seconds uh, was the margin uh, when he crossed the line just then. So, you know, Crossy last lap of 48.3. Does this tyre strategy play out okay. in a good way with 28 minutes to go for Stoner? Awesome. You call us back down through the field, J-Man. I'll click the buttons. You talk. All right. Okay. So we're heading back down. We've got uh, Ashley Verga in the 17 McLaren sister car to Aztec in P3. Jake McKellar uh, alluded to earlier that this guy was lapping quicker than the guys in front of him. Has made his way into fourth. Uh, these guys have all stopped. Uh, Ryan Goulbranson is technically out of position at the moment, but is currently holding fifth, uh, still with a stop to make. Um, Gunther Rowe, uh, welcome back, Gunther. Um, currently P6 in the Mercedes. Jeff Burse and the one and only Nissan in the field tonight is close actually behind Gunther in seven. He, he has picked up a bit of pace on Gunther there and uh, yep. yeah, it'd be interesting to see how that goes over the next 25 minutes. Yeah, too right. And then we've got a melee here. We've got Pete Apsey, Nick Davidson and Cameron May all under the same blanket. 
staying nice and cosy with this little battle going on here. This is 8th, and 10th. They're in their own little bubble there. Yes, they are. They are, but there's no, there's no social distancing there for sure. No, not whatsoever. Um, um, Aztec, uh, he has got cookie for company for 11th and 12th, so great little battle there from a, uh, a couple of the McLarens. Yes, like and, the, and, the, and, the, circulating. and the Aztec car looking like a busted crab at the moment. So yeah, very much so. Um, John McDonald um, had some issues really early on the piece. Obviously, we're not too sure what happened there, but uh, certainly went backward and has currently made his way forward. He's stopped done everything he needed to do he's currently p13 kenny 14 out there there's a few gaps at these guys at the moment i've got nothing uh for 15th for troy wilson so i guess that immediately says that v dog v dog is next on the list uh, then cameron hawking maxwell hawkins i've got oh, nothing no, for Max maxwell either. hawkins should i say nothing for mudgy nothing for wilton Okay, uh, that rest, is the field. That so is the, the rest field. Of them have uh, run into some sort of mechanical failure, or, um, or, or you know, need a trip to the Xanax. <laughs> or, or, or other, we'll yeah. just say. Just to but, take a chill pill and fucking watch this yeah. thing. So, so I was like, milking the cow. Okay, righty. <laughs> look, wait, you're oversharing there. We don't need to hear that. Um, yeah. Look, let's just welcome everybody again for joining us again tonight on yeah, the ASRNZ yeah. Twitch, mate. It's 2020. It is the first GT3 season of the year. So it's yeah. a big deal, guys. We've got some really good numbers in here for a shakedown tonight, which is awesome with a lot of guys away over the weekend. But, yeah, look, it's going to be action-packed as usual. Everybody seriously keen to get down to business with some new driver pairings and whatnot and some different cars Jay man it's great to have you back here as well oh, it's great to be here of course it is you're yeah. here with me mate it's fine and we got we got beer in the fridge and and I think farmer might have left some burger rings or something over in the corner there don't touch them yeah they'll be stale uh, you know, you never, you never double dip into a peanut jar or a bag of chips, mate. You never know where his hands have been. So, <laughs> especially if he's been milking the cow. Now, so <laughs> we uh, just see Crossy, uh, lights ablaze, man. He is seriously taking control of this race. Yeah, uh, Jay, man, yeah. and, and I alluded to earlier in the telecast about him spruiking that he had done zero laps and hardly knew the track, uh, uh, mate. Just, just shows you the quality of this bloke, doesn't it, J-Man? Who are we talking about? Crossy. Oh, mate, he's been here all week. I've been watching him all week. He's, um, he's, he's carved the Kenny groove here, mate. He's well up for this. It's great to see him back. He's put the effort in. He's been sandbagging. It's, yeah, it's all showing, week. mate. It's showing. <laughs> uh, the rest of these blokes just need to up their game a little bit, and um, and they'll and they'll be right there with him. But he's a he's a class act, I think. Don't quote me. Somebody might have the stats in front of them. Uh, I know Steve-O won't because he's, he's helping not here. Farmer. Uh, I think he's helping Except Farmer with, with, the, with the cow. With the cow. Um, it might have been Steve. It might have been Farmer that was saying that he hadn't driven the track. Yeah, and that one, now I know why he's pissed off. Yeah. I've, been, I've been blaming yeah. Crossy for all that. I think yeah. Farmer's already on his way to the airport. But yeah. anyway, um, yeah, I think I think if my memory serves me right, that Steve Crossland was the first ever GD3 champion here at ASRNZ. And the Assetto Corsa uh, platform. Um, so yeah, th this guy knows his way around. Around a championship and yeah, a track. Yeah, and always, uh, yes, as always, you can always catch up with that sort of stuff in these. the Hall of Fame. So just search look. on the homepage. But let's have a look. At some let's we'll scroll through down to let's have a look. Luke Compton. Like 16, yeah, sixteen six was the gap. Stoney's got it down to fifteen nine. 23 minutes to go. It's going to have to get significantly better than that. But what I can tell you is every every few minutes that we go on, Davo, this track is losing temp. 17 degrees ambient, right, 20 degrees right. track. And you have already touched on, you know, what these guys do in their pit stops tyre-wise, temperature, uh, uh, pressure-wise is critical. Mm. And um, it'll be interesting to see how cross these times go, I suppose, you know, as we just watch Blue Crompton a sandwich in a Pete Aspie Cameron May battle. 
very much. Very much. Um, so, yeah, once again, thank you to the 11 or so viewers that are watching now. We really do appreciate the support do. when it comes to the streams. We do, and we'll thank uh, Superior Joint Sealing, who will be the major sponsor uh, for, this, joint, yeah. for this series. Also, with a few side sponsorships, as usual, FHM being one of them. You've got to slip that in there. But uh, also, just quickly, yep. think. Yeah, there's uh, been that, some. The Davo and moments, the Gentleman, the Davo and Gentleman podcast will be back, sponsored by Davo and Gentleman. Match fit with Davo and the J Man. That'll be back later in the year, obviously, as this series ramps up so don't miss that either um but yeah welcome again everyone 2021 is really ramping up now yeah yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. um yeah looking forward to that next uh first podcast of 2021 uh plenty to talk about Dave. and obviously with the with the inception of this uh, championship there'll always be something as well week to week uh to digest and maybe um discriminate uh well, not discriminate sorry um <laughs> they're looking forward to that um well, yeah, we uh, always we always do like we always do yeah so so Ryan uncle branson um uh i think well uh, what's this what's this team I, this I, is I, this this is this jr racing i think it's like um yeah it's like money mayweather racing sort of yeah they've got different you look at the merch He's staying out late. Uh, he hasn't made a stop. Oh, hasn't he? Okay, well, that's no, interesting. Not unless he, not unless he has and he didn't complete it because it's clearly not cleared. So I'm not sure whether he's aware of that. Um, and I, it's clearly not our job to uh, to uh, to say anything. So um, yeah, maybe he's just running long. But if he was running long, I would have expected him to have been further up because he was in a pretty good battle. He was, he was, and with only, you know, like 10 minutes to go, if he hasn't noticed that, and we've seen it before, J-Man. 20, 20 minutes, 20 minutes to go, David. Oh, well, for the pit window, 10 minutes oh, yep, left yep, for the pit right. window, um, you know, we've already touched on it. It's not mm. for us to get in, in his ear and tell him about it, but um, if he hasn't spotted it on his telemetry there, that will be, you know, a po problematic ooh, situation ooh, ooh, ooh. for him. Luke Crompton, Pete Epsi, can we get a replay on whatever happened? Oh, sorry, with Luke Crompton, please. Have we got a 30-second got a cam here? We've got a 30-second cam rolling as we speak, J-Man, as we see the flame spit from uh, Luke Crompton's McLaren gets upside the Merc, just gives it a little tap. Oh. J-Man. I, I did see something in the background. I just wonder what was going on. Just have so, a uh, quick look at that. Oh, yeah. There wasn't Ooh. much in it, but enough for a redress. He'll be absolutely with himself. Yeah, and uh, just went a little too deep, I think, you know, just stretching yep. the limits of the McLaren brake pedal and uh, coming yeah. off hey, second look, well, The potential to get on TV may have inspired him just to well, get that one we, a bit of a touch out. Who knows? Uh, I know Luke as well as you do, mate. Always up for that. So uh, good to see Troy. Obviously pulled the pin on uh, tonight. You were going really, really well, Troy. So great to see you um, at least pick back up on the stream. And um, Aaron, uh, see you there, mate. Have a good time uh, coming up over the weekend. Yeah, thanks Farmer. all the boys that are watching. Farmer, Farmer, when you finish milking the cows, mate, you, you may need to come back and have a chat. Um, yeah, Is always that, welcome you know. in the comms box, mate, as usual. There's only a yeah. few people that have got the swipe card for it, so, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, all are welcome. Uh, so where are we looking, uh, David, uh, just, on the John McDonald? Just looking at John McDonald, just settling into a ninth position. Now, that car, remember, came in looking terrible early, very early in the race. Well, I thought it looked pretty up. terrible the second it rolled out the show well the before the race even started yeah to be yeah. honest yeah so uh, but uh yeah just well he's got himself back in the top uh 10 a few boys dropped off the back of the field so yeah a bit of a lackluster uh shakedown for these boys but uh nonetheless yeah, I, yeah look an update on the stony is, is it, the, is it i think it's the hell of a scene Team breakfast hell of a scene, yeah. breakfast crew or something, and just going off that paint job, that is 
clearly hell of a scene. That tyre tire situation not yielding anything fantastic for Stoney at the moment. He actually had been chipping away tenth by tenth by tenth, but actually has lost about six tenths in the last lap. And in that respect, he, sorry, four and a half tenths, and it's back to a 16 second margin. So, oh, the, the track is still cooling, and so is the yep, ambient. Yeah, it is, it is 10 to 6 uh, here at, uh, at uh, Stedderton. So, there's still time for a tyre to play a factor, but. Yeah, I thought I might have seen oh, it already. Oh, sure, sure. And you can, you can tell that as the day goes on, the shadows are getting a little longer on the cars here. And, um, you know, it's it's inevitable that the, the track temperatures will start to drop. And, yep. uh, yeah, that tyre will come into play, J-Man, as you have mentioned. Um, so, uh, it's leaking up um, on Dapsy because... Um, he is gone. Um, they, that will be for the top ten. So Aztec just still bugging away. Um, yeah, Compo's so still sitting back there. Yeah, well, Compo having to redress from the touch with Aspi just mm. a lap or so ago. It's allowed, obviously, Aztec to slip past and and uh, just tag on the back of that that car although from a distance still you know it's it's just that carrot effect it's always good to chase that 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 car and his times in front of you so um yep. as i don't know that's just do you want to roll back Ooh, through the Gunther, field Gunther, just Gunther first, mate. Gunther, yes and burst we have seen in so much action tonight as we yeah, see gunther he... come down the inside Mate, these guys still not done, um, and this will be effectively when Will Branson makes his stop. This will be for fifth and six, not six and seven. So um, still a lot to play for here. Uh, Absolutely. With these boys. Absolutely. Um, I love watching Jeffro Jeff Burst drive. He gives it his all every every lap, and. Uh, if there's a car close to him, it's it just goes up oh, exponentially. He's and underneath it. I'll be interested to see what the horsepower. Oh, and he's done it. Like. Yep. I think he's delivered. He has too. Well, a bit of a wiggle for Gunther on the way out of that left hander, though. Sort of. I don't think. Uh, just get a quick replay on that. He I don't does think it's it. done. I don't think Jeff's going to give up on this one. Jeff struggled with the. I think. I. I well, from. From up here, it looked like the, he struggled with turning on the on the Datsun yep. Yep. throughout the race tonight, but because um, we know how well these Mercs work uh, yep. in and out of the corners, they're, you know, just amazing cars to drive and uh, to keep that, that Datsun in touch at all is uh, a fine showing. So, but uh, yeah, just struggling. Yep. We've seen him just. Not so much yield, but lose a few positions throughout the night, haven't we, with uh, with that understeer issue? Yeah, just a little bit of push. Um, Not I mean, a lot, is it? That, yeah, that was nice then. You know, he got it in that final turn. He got the thing hooked up. He actually probably did a slightly better job. As we see, was How's that, that going in there now? Well, Uncle Branson taking his official stop. There um, we go. Yep, so he's in there. Um... And he'll drop down the field here now. Already down to 11th. 12th, 13th. Yeah, so this will drop him a long, long way back. Uh, that's what I mentioned, because we haven't really spoke too much about it. He's had a pretty lonely night, and I think probably you'll echo that if we talk to him. And at this point, we probably will be talking to him later on. Uh, in another 13 minutes is Ashley <laughs> Vertigo. Um, yeah, well, has, too true. Has just gone out there tonight and kept his nose clean. He's just done consistent 48s. He's found he, his pace. Mate, he qualified well too. He did. Uh, he's uh, stayed out of that little bit of a melee that we saw 
like right at the start in those, the first couple of rows there, we saw Stonely have a little bit of a stutter on the line, stayed out of that trouble, and then a the little, little bit of trouble uh, further down the track on lap one. Really has kept his nose clean. The car's been perfect and looks pretty well undamaged there, J-Man. Yep. A little bit of dust, as you'd expect, but um, looks very tidy. It's looked composed all night. Yeah, hey, look. Nice um, work. Team, 50, uh, sister car to the Az Aztec car, you were saying, is it? It's the, um, yeah, that's the sister car, Old Bastards. Um, the yep. Old Bastards, yeah. Yep. So, and, I mean, that, that uh, the sister car, the 11 car, has worked its way inside the team now, so that's a, a pretty good recovery. Oh, I'm um, surprised, actually, Aztec's car even started uh, on track. I thought it may have even had to come out of the pits. He was that late. To... Well, he started from, from dead last, so... Yeah, 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 so... But, um, um, a lot, I'll tell you what, a lot bigger attrition rate here tonight than I expected. You know, we, we lost, obviously, Troy, Max, Mudgy, Mama, uh, and then Cam for a disco. I don't think Cam chose to... <laughs> to leave this race with No, I, I don't think so either, Jay, man. So, so currently 14 runners left of the 19 starters, so um, still a good effort. But uh, yeah, great job from um, Ashley. Uh, props uh, to the old fella. Great. Uh, so just, uh, just focusing also on Aspie just sort of crept back on the back of John McDonald there. What position is he in? He's so in he ninth. In nine. yep. They're actually coming back up on the back of Nick Davison in one of the other Mercedes, so there's three in a row there. Yeah, that was a, a really cool shot, then a little bit of dust and that, just looking from out the window of Pete Apsey's car there, and um, really highlights the definition as we watch the shadow just roll over the dash and the bonnet. Um, that, um, yeah, the camera crew and... Oh, as we see first, oh. off! Dear, dear me, how did that happen? Can we get a replay on that? Replay incoming. Wow. First around. Do another. That's a shocker. He will be kicking himself. Let's see if we can get a 30 second on burst actually did he, here. Did uh, he just lose that on us? As we see the window that closed. That thing looks like it's got a flat tyre, Jake, man. It has got a flat tyre, mate. It has dropped down on one side. It's got, it looks like it's got a right rear. He just grabbed Jeffro. Jeffro just, down, that, 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 just car down on the comms box, mate. Have you popped a tyre, mate? Do I have, bro? Oh, well, that is there so you go, people. Mate, you were having Jeff. A, such a solid race, bro. Yeah, I don't know what caused that. Okay, okay. I was saying it was low pressure for a bit, but. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is just a shakedown, and and I, you know, like, mate, you'll take good learnings out of that, I'm sure. Um, but um, man, could there be more tire issues coming down the field then, likely? Maybe. Well, it wasn't. Sh I don't know. It must have been just low pressure or something. I'm not sure. What caused it? Just let go. I was just like, oh my god, settling. Oh, okay. Oh well, unlucky, mate. Um, we were watching you. I think you're doing a fantastic job in the in the Datsun. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, hey, awesome look, work, Jeff. Put, put yeah, some more cheers. licorice on the back there, mate, and get out there and finish this thing strongly. And um, yeah, yeah, mate, we'll catch up with you, Jeffro. Yeah, no worries, thank you. Yes. So, well, yeah, you go, unfortunate for Jeffro, who day man, tire failure, and we see okay. it in shakedown. Bam, there you go, it's all happening straight away. Okay, so. Okay, what sort of tyre situation would somebody like Crossy, who's been lapping in the 47s and 48s... Or Stonely, for that matter. Well, Stonely changed his tyres, mate. He said, yeah, well, he called it, yeah. So he changed his tyres, so he could be in a good position here. With eight minutes to go, do we see some tyre failures? Yeah. And, and I just noticed that Stonely's last lap was considerably quicker, three quarters of a second quicker than Crossy's lap as well, so... Yeah. Uh, so what do you reckon, boys? The boys watching, you know, are we game enough? Y y if you can comment, you know, who who would you like us to who, talk to? Uh, us? Who, and who do you want to put your money on at the moment? Yeah. <laughs> do you where, reckon? where do you guys see this going from, from the stream? You know, is, um, you know, 
is the, is the tire is the tire thing a real issue, or are we just are we just overinflating this? Excuse the pun. Oh, mate, you love the pun. You're so uh, waiting to drop that. No, oh, mate, we're working <laughs> on that all day. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so I don't know, I don't know, mate. But um, at the end of the day, I think. And crossing, pushing hard, uh, Jay man, like he, he is not mucking around. He's all over the backer. I think it's Crompton's. It is Crompo. McLaren and uh, Crompo sidestep. Good awareness. But but uh, all I see is the wheel off, all over Crompo's the place. Car's not looking good. It doesn't look it doesn't look happy, does it? But uh, yeah, Crossy definitely using all the extremities of the uh, tarmac in front of him. That's also Aztec just sneaking up in behind Compton, and we did call that actually a couple of laps ago that Aztec yep. will see the, the blood bleeding from um, Compton's car. And I just, actually, I'm just looking back there now. Is that Gunther with a bonnet? That car, that car looks awful. Not happy, yeah. That car is a wreck. That is a mess. So he's had a major altercation with something a lot harder than the front of that Mercedes. He'll be suffering there at uh, being a shake. Oh, look at it. Look at it, J-Man. Surely he's going to come into the pits and try and do something with that. Well, there's I mean, only six minutes to go. Bloody hell. He stays Can he out. That he home? stays out. <laughs> anyway, back. Right, let's have just another quick look at Aztec's car. Now, this thing had been in the wars earlier too. Look at it; it's got it's got more hits than Elvis as well tonight. Um, it's Jeff called it a night as he pulled the pin. He did come into the pits there. Let's just. I cannot get Jeff burst, so I'd say Jeff Froe uh, has pulled the pin. As we wind down, just a little over five minutes to roll. We'll probably jump back okay, and cross yep, his mate, car mate, here. And... Pull the pin. Great effort up to that point, Jeff Rowe. Um, like, as, you, as we said, mate, it's a shake down there. There's not a lot to play for at the end of that, other than taking the learnings out of it. Uh, oh, and they did not change his tyre. Okay. No, well, obviously. It's... Oh, the pit window was closed, mate. Ah, that's interesting. That is interesting. You know, even so, with a damaged car, you can't get into the pits. There you go. That's interesting to note. Ah. So, yeah, Crossy just pedalling it out, mate, eh? With, what, four and a half minutes to go. Yeah, still doing 48.5. Fast and the dubious. Mm. Um, yeah, 48.5, that late... That plays a 48-1 to Stonely, so Stonely down to 14 and a half seconds, but it'll be a little too late unless there's a tyre failure or something late in the piece. Um, Ashley, Ashley's last night, last lap was a 48-9, so he's still in that bracket. McKellar with a 48-7. Oh, what is the gap there? McKellar to Vertiger, and that is around. 6.9 seconds, so he's approved on that because I saw that at about 10 point something seconds at one point not that long ago. So obviously Ash just nursing that car back home or just getting in that, that uh, closing stage rhythm, closing stages of the race rhythm, you know, where you're just bringing it home, you know, you got the gap. Uh, yeah. Just a little bit further from back from that, uh, J-Man is Nick Davison. Uh, yeah. had, had a reasonable night been around it I think uh, one or two times in the in the Merc but um, yep. he's doing pretty well there in fifth fifth position at the moment with a few boys out there in the tail end. Yeah, Andy. No, he's doing a great job. Um, John McDonald. JB JB out there um, you know was basically at the back of the field after that early stop. He stopped first. Cameron May stopped right behind him, early stopper, so he's pushed this tyre for a long time as well. Yep, yep. Um, although I, he was in there for a long time, did fix the car, I understand, but I don't know whether he decided to put a tyre on as well, not sure. Um, 
Peter has to be uh, not far behind him, keeping him honest. Yeah, yeah Pete's great showing. Um, Rompo, I mean, all of these guys, other than maybe, I think, probably their top oh, three, um, have been in the wars at some point. I think Crossy, Stoner, and Ash, all clean set of heels, but I think even Jake got involved in some paint rubbing. Dick Davidson, John McDonald, Pete Apsey, Luke Cropton, Aztec, we know that that car was pretty beat up early. Gunther, uh, that thing's not looking flash right now. Surprise um, is still running, to be honest. Um, yep. Kenny, um, Kenny and Ryan, um, B Dog sticking it out there. And that, uh, that, that calls the field, so yeah. Down to That's it, and we're down to what? 13 runners. Just a, uh, yeah, not to, not a bad effort tonight, actually. Out of 19, uh, boys have obviously gone away for the weekend. There's guys that have actually raced tonight that are still to go away uh, for the weekend. So, yeah, good effort to everybody yep. involved. Minute but, and a half uh, to go. Minute and a half ago, we're winding. Crossland's just literally dominated this thing right from the get-go. Practice, yep. qualifying, and yep. the race. He uh, stamped his authority very in the warm-up lap, mate, and he has not failed to deliver. Uh, if that's uh, Crossy's shakedown for the season, then he's we're up for uh, some interesting racing from Steve Crossland uh, over the over the series, mate. Yep, yeah, hundred percent. So, um, not sure why the flag's gone to yellow as opposed to green, just on my telemetry. So I can't see any incidents, but uh, maybe that's because we get close to the last step. So I believe it'll be this one and one, one more. more. Yeah, without a doubt. Oh, hang on, no, it's time certain race. It'll be uh, this will be the final lap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Stanley just coming around that final bend now too so there's pretty well the the start finish straight between yeah, the two straight. boys yeah yep 12.9 um, seconds that last not, lap so. not a bad effort and considering stonely really did fudgy start you know qualified well but um yep. he really he he could have easily got caught up in in and a bit of a melee there, J-Man. You well, know he, dropped, he dropped the position, so he suffered at the start a little bit. He lost a few seconds to... But just John that, Boy just that concertina and... effect with a slower accelerating car up into the braking area, turn one, yep. can can be, you know, disastrous um, with the boys up the back not actually knowing what's going on up there. So, um, lucky, I think, but um, hmm. he had the pace anyway and getting back past McDonald very quickly there um, in the first couple of laps. So, yeah, great, great effort from from Stonely. And as always, Ash Vettigar taking out the third position. So we just pick up back up on Crossy's car here as he yep. just winds down. Last few corners, the great track here. Quite technical. It's quick, typical UK circuit, very fast, not a lot of elevation change, although there is a little, it is not a lot. And um, as he just as he just comes up on his on team, the team car. On the team car there. Yep. For a formation finish in the um, and look these boys will love this. This'll go Yeah, hundred percent. This will this, this will go on the banner. Yeah, formation finish for the, well the shakedown. Well done, boys. Well Congratulations, done. Crossing. And then Stoners will just jumping across the line now. You, in the end, uh, finish 11.3 seconds behind in this race after that formation finish. So well done to Craig Stoney. Um, Ashley Verga just rounding out the final sector just about to round out mm, uh, yeah, just just coming up on the back of that cut the road which is just an awful mess of a mercedes at the moment oh it's a Gunther, yeah. it's a hell of a scene you know yeah. you knew you wanted to say it, it pretty much is yeah he slips past there um puts gunther out of his misery jake mckellar great job with jake awesome um, work from jake actually kept his nose pretty clean all night as well and uh to the two team cars there again running JP. across the line 
Jamie catching up to the back of, uh, of Nick, Nick Davison, Davison in this last lap. Uh, so JB never say never. Uh, uh, he uh, as we know, yes, yeah, always, or as always. And uh, yeah, they, I've noticed they've got, the, the brakes. they've got the bonnet closed on that thing. So I'm sure it's got a couple of extra Ks down the straightaway yep. to have a crack at uh, Davison at least now. So this will be rounding out P5, P6. Still racing right to the end. This is shakedown. No points involved, people. And yep. uh, these guys don't muck around. They're racers at heart. This is what it's all about. It's uh, right on to Nick. Down to the way. P5. Awesome work from Nick. Um, we know that car's had a couple of touches throughout the night. We know McDonald's car had plenty. Um, yeah, ex excellent work as, as we round out. So that uh, would leave Pete Apsey in seventh. That would leave Luke Crompton in eighth. Aztec making it home in ninth. Kenny Simpson to round out the 10. Uh, Gunther in that beat up Mercedes and then still brings it home in 11th. Ryan Gilbranson, uh, the sister car to Jake McKellar, uh, is in 12th. Uh, B Dog um, consistently finishing up there in 13th. Um, and then our retirees consist of Jeff Burst, 14th, Cookie, uh, Troy, Cam May, unlucky to Cam, um, and then Max Hawkins and Mudgy finaling out for the P20. So uh, big congratulations to those podium guys who we'll speak to very shortly, I'm sure, Davo, but a massive thank you uh, to SJS, to Zero Vision, uh, and yourself, Davo, um, and everybody that gets this thing going and off the ground because man it's cool to be back in a gd3 car in a double c it is it's awesome as usual uh wouldn't be anywhere else mate so um yeah yeah right, watch uh, this space people that is shakedown wrapped up uh we will get the top three boys up as right. as p3 normal. here we come 2021 shakedown third position who we got okay we have got ashley i'll, I'll bring Vettiger, him in the right yeah I'll bring him in the right place uh welcome mr ashley vitiger to the comms box on a very very well deserved seemed a little lonely at times mate but uh, you keep your nose clean for a third position thank you gents that was hard work it was, was it? So, yeah, so obviously you're the first of uh, of the blokes post race that we're going to talk to, and a couple of questions for you there, Ashley. Is uh, you know, a first and foremost, you did touch on, you, know, you just said it was hard. So, being a seventy rather than two forties, how did that? How how hard was that in comparison to maybe the last time we drove a GD3 car? Um, yeah, it's it's hard to maintain the concentration. Um, I think it would be a good idea to mandate a 10 minute pit stop. So a little bit of a spell in the middle of it. Go and have a spa. I think, I think that would be a good idea. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you, Ashley. Um, I had to run away for a break myself. But <laughs> uh, Okay, so, and then, and then, okay, so outside of that, uh, anything to note? Uh, we obviously saw Jeffrey run into a tyre issue during that race and actually blow a tyre. How was your rubber in that race? Did you change a tyre? And if you didn't, I, how was it? Yeah, I did. I did change okay. them. Um, and the set, second set was a lot better than the first set. Right. I think, I think even though I had them pressured the same, I think as the temperature and the dropped, because it's gone down at least a couple of degrees from where I last saw it. Uh, um, so you've, they, you've lost they, about six or seven outright, maybe. Uh, more. Okay, yeah. So the, the tyres came into their own just after the stop. They were really good. Yep. And then they got colder and colder and I lost pressure and one of them was even starting to turn blue at the end there, so... Whoa. Okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, well, look, yeah, stellar job. We're, we'll let you um, bask in that. You know, it's a, it's a shakedown, but uh, we know you boys like to go out and fire a shot early, so well done. You obviously put a bit of time in and but out there on track and keep your nose clean. And um, I don't think you were ever under threat for that uh, for that third position on the podium tonight. I, don't, uh, I didn't see any threat anywhere all night. No, I didn't. No, I, was, I was monitoring the gap behind me to a couple of different Hello. people. Mm. Ja yeah, Jake and, and there was someone else earlier in the race. Oh, well, Branson might, was might there, but he hadn't made it. Yeah, it was Matt, I think. Yeah. Um, what happened to JB? Why did he go off at the first corner? Uh, look, it was a hell of a scene. 
I think. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Did he did he see a paint another paint shed to drive through? Or? It could have possibly been something like that. So uh, hey, look, um, we'll we'll see what he brings to the table as to how we report that went down. Um, we're open to all bribes. So, but yeah, not really too sure at the moment. Uh, to be honest, seventy minutes is a long time in my world. I'd have to um, I'd have to replay the tape. To be fair, Ashes. Yeah, no. Speed, I just speed can't off remember. at the speed off at the first corner early in the race. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm it was a, what happened? It was a few laps in. Uh, yeah, we we missed it. All we we only got the. Uh, saw the repercussions of it with the, the front of the Merc looking very second-hand. So, <laughs> uh, but we did see a few Mercs looking very second-hand throughout the race, so it wasn't, it wasn't Robin because it grew, so I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but hey, um, look, congratulations on it. It's, if that's a precursor of what sort of form you're going to carry into this one, you're looking good. Um, you look comfy. If nothing else, you look really comfy in the car, fast. Uh, you were just smashing. I don't know if you were paying particular attention, but every time I sort of looked up, I, I felt like you were doing a 48-2. It was like dial a number in and, and just run it. So um, I saw I saw a fair number of 48-2s, which was a great lap time. Um, so well done, Ash. Congratulations. Nice work, Ash. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Round one, well, buddy. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. All right. So, so that's... Uh, uh, yeah. A pretty Mr. good assessment Stonely. of Stonely. Yeah, so we'll grab uh, grab the User was grab the stoner, eh? How Whoa. ironic. Uh stoners, mate. Um A first and foremost, congratulations on P two. Um Thank you. But I, I'm gonna get straight into it, mate. Um did you not get enough sleep last night and decided to catch a quick nap on the out on the formation lap or Oh uh, yeah, I fucking stumbled over my own feet. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I was looking at I was looking at where I was, and I, I looked at the arrow to move over the left, and then it was already green. I just yeah got caught napping. Yeah, lucky. Yeah, lucky. Mate, Sorry? you're lucky it wasn't worse. I reckon. Yeah. You yeah. could have really got tangled up there. Oh, a couple yeah. of positions back. Yeah. Mate, it was uh, it was all going on. So yeah. hey, look, but you ended up you got back past JB and. Put your head down. I think a little bit of the damage might have been done by the time you cleared him and that, mate. But um, hey, look, I just an, you know the only other guy to consistently run in the 47 bracket. Crossy clearly came out guns blazing this week. So um, you did a great job to be able to, you know, I think the tyre strat at the end. I don't know what Crossy did, but it did play a little bit of a divvy. But then it kind yeah. of fell off by the look of it. But even now, day eh? yeah, I was down probably a PSI on my right hand side in the first stint. Yeah, we just keep climbing away. Yeah, I think he was overpressured and then hit the opposite went in the second stint. He went really cold where I was warm. Okay. But it kind of just leveled out. didn't really make much gain. Yep. And um, and so how did you how did you feel about the 70 minutes, mate? Was it like, you know, like as far as effort required and, and how's the body feeling like? Was it was it harder than sort of most of the stuff you've done here? or you just, um, I've sort of had a couple of stints we've done enduros and that. Like, yeah, I've been trying to do a few of those CP servers and that. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's not too bad. It felt, felt like a sprint race when you sort of look at it at the end. But sort yep. of 20 minutes in, it felt like, oh, this is going to be a long race. And then, uh, yeah, at the end, it felt like a sprint race. So, no, it wasn't too bad. Sort of, yeah, it gets a bit stiff in the back and that, but not too bad. Okay, my, my next question for you is, is, did you fire up the new hardware for this one? Are you Ooh, running? No, but it turned up today. So okay. <laughs> so, so, so what, is this, what is this hardware we speak of? Oh, yeah, just uh, some interior decorating in, in uh, my sim. Oh, very nice. Very mm. nice. Yes, they, so so colour access and some Craig's stitching. Craig's the OSW club. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. so he's, yeah. Um, he's, he's open to broken wrist now. So, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah no, mate. Okay. Well done, mate. That was um, a classy, classy drive. Um, Thank you. Expected you to be there somewhere. The times were really, really hot. Um, those low sevens and those conditions um, in Wally were pretty damn impressive. So, um, yeah, well done, Thank mate. You. Yeah, nice um, work, man. It bodes well for the start of the season uh, coming up next week. So, hope yeah. to talk to you then. Yeah, man, and congrats to Crosby. The Pink Panther was fast. He was, very, he was. Very. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Cheers, boys. <laughs> Have a good one. Enjoy Enjoy it. It. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Cheers, boys. User was moved out of your channel. All right. Well done. Uh, we'll bring this guy. It's been a long time since we've had this guy User down in the box, but it channel. is great to open the it's door been a while. Crossy. Hey, boys. How you going? Hey, hey bro. Congratulations, bro. That was a dominant display from a long-term member here at ASRNZ. So well done, Crossy. That 
look too easy to you, to you, mate. Yeah, I seem to be good at the bloody shakedowns, unfortunately. And then <laughs> the other guys <laughs> Come on, don't close the short. gap and then uh, make it a bit tough, you know. Oh, uh, God. We go. <laughs> I've been quoting a comment that I thought you wrote earlier in the day about you not doing any practice before the race. And I think it was actually Steve Wilton that wrote it. So, and, 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 and then you got the out there, and I'm just like, thinking, this guy's been here all week. God, he looks like he's been here all week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, very that, dominant, um, very good yeah. to watch. And, and in those conditions, I just mentioned to, to Stoner because I mean, you guys were a clear you know, in that 47 bracket and were ahead of everybody else, so a great effort. And obviously, you just that next step up again. So, 47 yeah. 0 in those conditions was a great lap to, to pull out. And you know, we were watching, I was watching, I did see you get caught up in a little bit of traffic and had to reset again. and and then, um, you know, one of the questions that I haven't asked the guys, so there's been a couple of questions I've been asking the guys in the interview tonight is, you know, um, how much effort was that for you, that 70? Um, uh, no, I was ready to go for another for another stint. I was talking, okay. to, talking to my teammate towards the end there and thinking, he, he was knackered. <laughs> so Pete, he's like, oh, mate, could <laughs> overtake me the end, I don't know what to do another lap. So, yep. And I'm uh, shit, I could grab another, you know, handful of fuel and tyres and go again. Yeah, okay, nice so nice formation yep. finish. We just thought it was just you guys showing off. Yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and then the other thing is, is how, how much of a factor is the five sets of tyres going to play into this championship, Crossy? It nearly caught me out because um, I had to, I was just out there tweaking, tweaking, and then I thought, oh, geez, I better check my tyres. And I went out and I had one set of tyres uh, clean, like just brand new. The rest had a little bit of wear on them. So then I had to just sort of think and pick. So I started on the on the on the, the the brand new ones, and then went as long as I could, and then put the other ones on. But they weren't too bad. But yeah, they nearly caught me out. So did you not have a set of new tyres for Quali? No. Wow. Yeah. Wow, nice that's work. impressive. Yeah, yeah that's nice. a, that's a great job. Next level. Um, and um, so so obviously that's what we can come to expect of pace wise out across here back, and um, I think we alluded to in the stream. Uh, possibly you were the first guy ever to take out the GD3 championship here at ASRNZ back in our AC days. I think I'm correct. Yeah, yeah, back. I think it's driving that driving the Glickenhaus thing, Scuderia Glickenhaus. Squeaky. 20, 2015. Yeah, it would have been about right. Yeah. Yeah. So well done. So yeah, great to see you back up in here, and 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 obviously work and family commitments and everything else has has kept you away from us for a little bit. So it's really really cool to see you a back on track and then b actually up a, up here in the booth with us at the end of the night so that's really cool and we salute you congratulate you on a great effort and do hope that you have that sort of success next week mate and these guys can um yeah come come and have a good run challenge you for it yeah i like alton so i've done a few laps there now so it's um great see, track. see what we can bring yeah, and see what other guys have got yeah hey mate no, no. cross is throwing down the challenge for those of you listening he's uh he's comfy there so you guys have got all the work to do by the sound of it oh, they'll catch up don't worry the class drivers here awesome mate hey well look you enjoy this victory man and hopefully if you get a chance to watch the stream back you'll uh yeah enjoy a bit of the action that was throughout the field plus yourself as well mate so um well done crossy uh, cheers boys well good mate user was moved all right out of well there channel. you go they vote uh, that's a wrap. I just wanted to pick up two. That is a wrap. That is a wrap. But after all of that, there were some pretty extensive interviews as well. That are still only um, uh, Team Hell of a Scene will fire next week. Apparently, the word is. Yeah, well, I don't know who's going to be milking the cows, but um, yep. I hope they yep. fire. Yep. Yeah, no, awesome, guys. Thanks again for everybody that's joined us. Obviously, a few of the boys watching from a distance on Twitch tonight. Uh, awesome stuff. 2021 ASRNZ GT3 Season 1 Shakedown is a wrap, J-Man. It yep. has been awesome. The Pink Panther, yep. Steve Crossland, opening yeah. a new bank account. And uh, Craig Stanley with a really good signing with Castrol. Yep, great signing with Steve Mellon. Some, some really good, nice starts to the uh, series, even though it's only shakedown. So can't wait, mate. It's been awesome. Been awesome to be back in the booth with you again tonight. Yeah, um, 100%, mate. Enjoying it already. So, um, yeah, look, we'll, um, we're, we're open to um, suggestions as well. You know, we tried to interact with you tonight, guys, but you're a little bit stage fright. And, uh, but, you know, certainly live 
broadcasting if you happen to be watching the stream for sure jump in the chat box and uh pipe up a question or, or tell us what you want to see if there's something and um we will endeavor to deliver but yeah nah awesome being back davo um I'm going to sign out here, mate. So um, thank it you very much. It is, it is. Thank you, everybody. Don't miss it next week. Thursday night is the night to be here. ASRNZ Twitch. For the Aussie viewers, just remember the uh, Kiwi uh, Daylight Savings is finished, so it's a, an hour later. But, um, yeah, join in. We'll be here. Round one next week, Alton Park. Thank you, everyone, for watching. See you, J-Man. See you, everybody. Cheers, bro.